welcome to my Spravato Escadabine vlog number four. I will put a link to the playlist of the previous three videos and treatments in the description box below. Uh, it was all very hard to put down on paper today, and I feel like I've been on autopilot all day, and it's uncomfortable, and I also feel like empty and not really a person. I feel like I'm still kind of dissociating just in a different way and format than while I was under the full drug dose. But let's get to it. Today was a one-off Wednesday instead of a Thursday treatment because of the holiday tomorrow. And it was also in the morning instead of the afternoon. So this is like the full first time that I've been like had the whole day kind of like tapering off and flushing it through my system. I was calmer than I had been the past three times when I went into the treatment and Dan, who is in charge of my treatments, took me back to a third room that I hadn't been in yet. So this one was more than double the size of the other two rooms, as is pictured in the video, and it wasn't as dark, nor did I like it. So, I mean, I whined about the last treatment video room, but like this one was like, oh my god. I mean, it really made a difference having the extra light seep in through the window shades as well as on the side of the wall with the windows that have, like, those colors on there. Like, it's it's blocked out. So, on the side of the office where Dan was, which is on the other side of the room, you can't see in. It's actually, like, a darker shade there, but it's so much brighter from the inside, and it sucked. It totally sucked. Um... On top of that, I shared the room with the TMS chair. Woo! TMS stands for Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, and to make it brief, it is a very strong magnet therapy for treatment-resistant depression that taps your head a bajillion times with short intervals throughout your treatment. I've got it done twice in separate years, and both times it wore off within a couple months, so... That being known, it made me uneasy to be in a treatment room with a treatment tool that didn't help me very much, and it kind of soured my spirit. I still had my wavy galaxy light, though. That was nice, and it did a really nice job of touching through all the space in the room. That's like my rock during the treatments is the wavy light. So if you've seen the previous treatment videos, you'll remember that I had a really ghastly time trying to figure out what kind of music to listen to during the treatment. Protocols on it is vague, but it should be something like calming or guided meditation, but it could be regular music too, something enjoyable and relaxing. And I've had such an emotional struggle previously with most music that, like... I came in today decidedly and with Dan's advice to try nature sounds or guided meditation and well, I did both and they both sucked. The sounds and meditations were alright at first and I'd try to mentally nestle myself into the rainforest sounds or calming creek or soothing voiced ladies or men telling me to take deep breaths and exhale all of my negative emotions out. And each time I get frustrated or annoyed or just off track in my mind with these racing thoughts that drowned out the music and the meditation and made it into just like noise that wasn't pleasant. So the last 30 minutes I stopped fighting and said F it, took out my earbuds, and I pulled the blanket up to my chin and sat crisscross, reclined in the chair, looked up the lights, took in the natural light noise, and everything quieted. Oh no, I lost my place. Hang on. Here we go. My mind was still way more noisy than I would have preferred it had been, but I was better. Um, I told Dan about it at the end, feeling like I was admitting guilt that this wasn't working for me. I turned it off, and he said that's fine. Some people do better in silence, and next time I can try that. And if at another time I want to try music again, I can do that too. Aside from the room change and the time change, I did something different today because Dan gave me a journal. It's actually an official Spravato journal, and they must be making real bank, man, because it was like I was touching refined velvet leather paper. This journal 
at first caused me a lot of stress. Mind you, I'm big on writing, and it was like, yes, I'll get to jot things down. This is great, because I've been doing that a little bit on my phone. But <sighs> it was like I was betraying the system. I mean, I'm supposed to be sitting here and processing and meditating, and now I'm distracting myself in a way, kind of, by journaling. So is this okay to do? Am I going to screw up how the medication is working? These are the things that I fought with myself about. And there was some sense of mental stability while journaling because I was able to let thoughts leak out on paper that I wasn't able to get rid of, like the boomerang thoughts. Um, they just keep coming back at you no matter how many times you try your cognitive dissonance and throw them down the conveyor belt or down the river, thoughts keep coming back, right? So that helped me but this whole idea of doing the treatment the wrong way really bothered me and that became like problematic so the first page you could write on said treatment log at the top of the journal and read use these spaces for self-reflection during and after treatments you may treat these logs as traditional journal entries, or you may choose to focus on how you're feeling, your symptoms, and any possible side effects. These pages are perforated in case you'd like to share your treatment experience with your healthcare provider. It was hard to write while dissociating, in a way, but I also felt like everything was fluid. The ink didn't trip up. The pages were very smooth. I wrote in cursive. It just was what it was. I observed it, and that was it. Um, so a lot of what I wrote down was shorthand and fragmented, but, uh, I have a very hard time focusing period on trying to tell a story when I'm not doped up on esketamine, which is awful when I'm trying to stream sometimes, but here with this fuzzy side effect, I really had to do simple sentences and move on to the next thought because this is how my brain was working. One thing I wrote down was it's okay to accept that it's different today but it's hard to believe myself. And I think that statement really gives a good collective sense of how it's been the previous three treatments. I noted at 12.15 p.m. my sadness took hold of this space. I still struggled with the ordeal I've been talking about in the past two treatment videos with hurt feelings and feeling small and really less important than I had felt like I had felt and I prior, like, I had some sense of belonging and worth and weight to myself with some people, and I realized with further processing that the event that happened really warped my view and made me feel insignificant and like a friend you have out of politeness that you spend time with and they're okay, but you don't really give a shit about when they're not there or around. So overall, though... The whole thing has been haunting me still, but I feel less overwhelmed by it. And I'm not talking by a lot, but like a minimal, tiny margin, noticeable amount. And I can't say if that's the spravato working or if I just haven't had those feelings like re-stimulated back up into my face. Minus I had like a similar kind of feeling moment last night where I, I kind of like my heart dropped and I felt real small but it ended up being okay. Uh, right now it's been nine hours about since I took my first of the three doses, five minutes apart, and seven hours since I left the hospital and I really observed how I was experiencing the rest of the day after treatment. I'd done yard work even for about an hour and being outside felt amazing. It was a crisp, sunny 56 degrees Fahrenheit and I was chopping off little branches off of tree branches of a tree that fell down or it didn't fall down we cut it down but you know so going back inside i buried myself into these art projects that are going to be christmas presents and it was almost this tinge of dissociation in itself because i was just experiencing and observing and everything just seems like very much outside of myself as opposed to how it normally does when i go about my day I feel less connected to myself right now. And I've talked to people face to face today, sent a couple DMs, but for the most part, everything 
that I had wanted to say about processing the treatment today and just my day in general I was like locked away. There was no real ladder down from my brain to my fingertips to get it out. This was like a huge struggle to put this all down. It took hours to even get like the oomph to do it. And I generally script these things out or structure them before I record them so I can make sure that I cover everything and I get the idea. I just had the idea of like opening my mouth to tell everything before I had even gotten that far to like shooting it right now. And it just felt like it was going to be like opening a whale's mouth with my bare hands. Just really uncomfortable feeling of this anticipatory like what that's going to be like. And honestly, now that I'm doing it, it's not that bad. But I still feel real weird. Real fuzzy. Real apart from myself. But I am calm for the most part. Waves of anxiety, worry, frustration, and sadness still have been coming to interrupt me the way they do every day. And I can't tell you until tomorrow if the calm right now is due to the medication drifting through my system or what. Um, but I'll make some notes of it and we'll touch base next Monday after treatment five. It's funny though how you can be admittedly calm and yet like still hurting on the inside at the same time. I wanted to note that. And I also want to thank everybody who's still listening. You made it to the end of the video. Yay! And thank you all for spending the time watching this one or all of the videos and being on my journey with me to feel better. I really do appreciate it uh, very much. So thank you to everyone who's been supporting me during this time. And let's hope... I start to see some like consistent and bigger improvements soon. Signing off.